welcome to poetra laptop care today's topic is switches for example the board number nma 362 it's a lenovo switching circuits what is the switching circuits see here is the examples switch what it contains just on and off right just on and off if it is open there will be no current if it is connected there will be current circuit to circuit so in previous videos i clearly explained what are the circuits and circuit types so again and again i won't tell those things those are basics if you want to know please watch those videos so directly in advanced level i'll come see this is adapter this is charging ic this is battery here charging ic is a switch okay acts as a switch if adapter is connected then through the motherboard adapter voltage will come if it disconnects if it is open and it is connected to the battery whole motherboard you will get battery voltage okay it's like a switch if both are connected the priority wise adapter will goes that's obviously okay here is the switch it's logically if you understand this it's very easy to troubleshoot the uh, short thing or uh, troubleshoot the ampere one of our subscriber was asking me so its load is increasing to 30 and again it's decreasing to 9 or 10 11 so those kind of problems you can easily solve if you know the switching values now here clearly told this is charging ic first basic once you connect the adapter then the whole switching circuit will start one adapter or battery circuits will start where it will go that let us see see once adapter is connected what are the circuits will be turn on and what are the switches you will get see if you connect the adapter these sections will get active these sections okay once you connect the battery these sections will active it means here it's on switch is on right here if the switch is on b plus is on then you will get all the voltages where it will go these are sub part in a constructed house there will be a hall room bedroom a kitchen a toilet or a master bedroom so many compartment will be there but main switch will be there uh, will be in the meter side right once you plug in the uh, what is that a fuse then all over the main main areas it will cover first inside one more switch will be there if you turn it on then only your hall switch i mean hall light switch will be glow it will be on when it will turn on so those kind of things applicable here in the motherboard see here is the main fuse it's on it's a meter side so it goes to the solar compartment the solar rooms kitchen hall dining everywhere it will be there in the master it's a master current inside that sub switch will be there ec on ec on sys on vr on hmm it is a power enable these are the sub switches if you switch it then this particular switch will glow this light will glow it gives the appropriate result understood so here is the main switch here is the sub switch in the hall it's a main power supply will come to the main supply and from the room main normal switch will plug in then if that is ac on if you plug in this complete circuit will work okay next what it will work the first switch see it will come from the main sub, uh, main supply supply main switch is on and if you switch it on this ec on then this particular circuit will work and gives the appropriate result what are those 5 volts vlp and 5 always right this again it goes to some other circuits 
for this circuit this will be the main circuit main switch okay if this main switch is on this particular section will be on see our subscriber i'm telling you who asked me the doubt from bombay i think so for him clearly i'm telling you if this switch is on this particular section will be glow he was asking what are the next step to do but he might have solved those things but i don't know but for him i am giving guidance see this is the main switch and here is the sub switch here is the sub switch if these two switches are on then this section will be on and it gives the appropriate result 5 volts will be 5 volts always so 6 amps is 100 milliamps okay this again switches to this particular section vddr here it will generate 1.05 volts vs got my point here the second switch the main power supply comes to the 5 volt section next it will come to the second one it's a 3 volt section see this is the main one and it's a sub switch if both switches are active then the circuit will work it will give appropriate result 3 vlp and 3 volts always then it it is the main switch for these sections which one this one 3 volts always okay for that sub switch is sp air on enable air on enable that will come from pch or io the sub switch will be in io section or pch section cut my point next see the overall switches how it looks this is adapter section this is the main switch main switch is the uh, main switch is for these sections once main switch and sub switches will be on then this particular result you will get again the particular switch circuit will be the main switch for this particular sections see your 3 volt section is a main switch for this and uh, this adapter or battery sections are main volts for this see note down one more important things if this particular switch having issue the current flow the flow of current will be the issue okay the amp it won't increase that is the main point you have to note down okay here it's very very simple topic you have to understand the logic then only you can do the service because who are uh, got stuck in milliamps 100 milliamps 200 milliamps or 10 milliamps or 20 milliamps so for them this is the useful videos especially who uh, asked me the question for him thank you thank you very much